So you have your kick-ass video complete with your kick-ass intro, your kick-ass script, your kick-ass actor, kick-ass music, and kick-ass editing, but you can't kick your competition's ass if no one is seeing your video commercial. So let me give you a few pointers on getting your video found on YouTube. First off, you're going to need to upload your video to YouTube. You have to have a Gmail or a YouTube account to do this. Once you've uploaded the video, you're going to see some places where you're required to fill in information about your video. This is crucial. Let's start with naming your video. Let's say you had a carpet cleaning service called Jake's, Car Jake's Clean Carpets and you were located in Denver, Colorado. Your natural instinct might be to name your video Jake's Clean Carpets. Well, don't. Why not? Because unless a potential client already knows about your business, they certainly aren't typing in Jake's Clean Carpets into the YouTube search engines. So what are they typing in? That's what we have to figure out. But most likely, it's something like carpet cleaning in Denver, Colorado, or Denver carpet cleaners. So use these types of terms for your video's title, and not just one version. Here's how I would name the video. Take a look carpet cleaning in Denver, Colorado. Then another one would be Denver, Colorado carpet cleaner. Then a third one would be best Denver carpet cleaner. All three terms would be in the same title box separated by those straight line dividers also called vertical bars. These are the kind of terms local people will be searching to find your business so use them to your advantage. Next, the description. The first thing you want to do is have a clickable, clickable URL to your website or an email address for them to contact you. Here's how I would do it. First, put the URL. Then I would add in text that uses your keywords. Uh, for example, you might put something like, click that link to get the best deal on Denver carpet cleaning. Jake's carpet cleaning offers truck mounted steam cleaning, blah, 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 then describe your services. You always want the link to be first, so when your video appears in the search results, the link is right there, available to be clicked by the client, therefore sending them right to your desired destination. Next, you need to add tags. These are terms that people might use to find your business. In this case, I would use Denver, Carpet, Cleaners, Cleaning, CO, Colorado, and whatever else you can think of. Don't overstuff your keywords. Seven to 10 is all you wanna have. You don't wanna dilute your video with 50 keyword tags. Finally, you're gonna to wanna to get people to like your video or click on the thumbs up button. Basically, don't risk getting your YouTube account banned by buying fake likes or fake views. Yes, you can buy this service on Fiverr, but don't do it. Simply start off by sharing the video with your friends, your family, or on Facebook and ask them to like your video. This goes a long way in helping your video climb the rankings. After a few weeks, visit YouTube and search carpet cleaner in Denver, Colorado, or whatever your term is, and see if your video is appearing in the rankings. It should be, and if it's not coming up on the first page after a few months, you might want to consider hiring a video SEO specialist on Fiverr who doesn't use these banned techniques to get your video ranked higher. Obviously, some cities are going to be impossible to rank for. If you wanted to rank on the first page for New York City carpet cleaners, well, I can't help you. But if you're trying to tackle Tallahassee carpet cleaners, it shouldn't be all that difficult.